Hi, my name is Murali, and in this video, I will show you how to configure an SMS-based multi-factor authentication using Identity Authentication Service. Now, within the Identity Authentication Service, you would need to navigate to the tenant settings and make some configurations related to SAP Authentication 365. So this is a separate service that for which you would need subscription, and this is the service that would send SMS codes and, and validate those codes from, from you. So I have for this demonstration, created an account in SAP Authentication 365 and populated all the details out here. So IAS will in turn invoke this functionality from Authentication 365 to send SMS codes and validate them. Once this is done, you would need to identify the application which needs to participate in this form of authentication. So I have already configured an SAP Cloud Platform account and exchanged the trust between SAP Cloud Platform and IAS. And out here under the Authentication and Access tab, under Risk-Based Authentication, you have the option to set up rules and define what is the authentication rule that applies to it. So you either have, um, you know, allow or use the two-factor authentication using the SAP Authenticator app, or in this case, the SMS-based. So I'm just leaving it to SMS-based. And what I'm going to show is, um, I'm going to open up the screen with the Fiori Launchpad that I have configured for this particular demo. Now, when I try to access this Launchpad, the first form of authentication is the IAS. So I'm going to provide my IAS user account details. And when I log in, it should give me my SMS code, which is 5063. And when I hit on continue, this should validate this particular code and then give me access to the Fiori Launchpad. As you can see, this is pretty much uh, straightforward. You know, there's not much of configuration or setup that is required to enable an SMS-based uh, two-factor authentication. Thanks for watching.